Hey, g'day people, it's Matt here from Matt Carves. So last time we looked at the very coarse and the extreme burrs from Cutsill and Sabretooth. And this week we're gonna go into the finer burrs from Sabretooth and also Cutsill. There's something quite interesting that's happening with Cutsill uh, compared to Sabretooth. And uh, well, I'm gonna explain what I mean. And there is an interesting difference when it comes to Cutsill and Sabretooth as they move through the burrs going from very coarse to fine. And I'm just going to show you that quickly. So you'll find on the Sabretooth burrs you have spikes on the very coarse and also the coarse and the uh, fine burrs. So you can sort of see like essentially they're all the same but the size of the tiny spikes just get smaller. Where it is on the Cutsill, here is the Cutsill Extreme, and we have spikes on that, but as we go to the uh, course, which is the silver, they're kind of more dots that are like very, very closely spaced, and on the fine gold, those dots even get even closer and smaller, and it has a real nice consistency to them, but I'm going to show you what this means when it comes to using them in wood. Okay, so before I carry on, I just want to sort of like say a quick note on how I carve. I tend to go from a Cutsill Extreme Burr to a fine taper burr. So you won't see too many of my videos uh, with coarse burrs in them. Just because I, well, I just don't see the point in going from a extreme to a coarse to a fine. So I, I just miss out that part and it seems to work pretty good for me and um, well you've got to make your own mind up on that one but uh, yeah so that's what I do. So I am not going to have a look too much at the cause. Also sort of wanted to put a caveat in here is a lot of people will look at fine burrs as sort of like your prelim to sort of like sanding. And while there is a uh, truth in that, there is also, well, this is my opinion, is the finer the burr, the more control you have. And thus, you sort of like, when you're carving with the finer burrs, you want control because you're carving finer details, say that kind of stuff around the eyes and all of that. Whereas if you had sort of a burr that was fine but didn't have a lot of control it would be harder to do those smaller areas and so this is a hardwood jarra and that is the cutsill fine burr and i'm just sort of gonna see how that goes into the wood and it doesn't take out a lot but it is very smooth and taking it out and if we then look at the saber tooth burr and what I am noticing with the Sabretooth Burr is it is uh, you have to apply less pressure to take away more material. So it is more aggressive but you can see there it is leaving quite a few lines in the wood. So it's not as smooth as the Cutsill Gold Burr. And we're just going to have a look at uh, maybe the control of each burr. So I'm just going to sort of like do an S bin down here very slowly and not much pressure. So that is the cuts all fine and it's really nice. It sort of just goes through the wood and um, it just follows a general line. There's a real consistency to it. And if we then have a look at the saber tooth. So this is the saber tooth and what I've noticed with this is the tip is quite pointy and isn't exactly consistent and so when you come to doing these kind of consistent kind of turns it doesn't really work out that well. Um, I think too because it's more aggressive it's going to sort of like grip in places so when you're doing finer details it's a little bit harder to control. And in this video I didn't really want to say which one is better than the other one because it's kind of not really about that. It's more about sort of showing you the differences between the two burrs and one might suit your style more than the other one. Um, you kind of have to decide on that. I can't help you there. Uh, but I've just sort of given you what I have observed with the two. Now I recommend three burrs when it comes to beginner carvings and uh, or even advanced carvings and these are the three here 
linked in this video.